Several months ago, I got to go to the NAM show representing Alamo Music Center, and I went to the Taylor Catch event. We've talked about it quite a bit on this channel. We finally have the guitar that I picked from that lineup. It's a custom Grand Pacific. I'm going to tell you all about it. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. And if you haven't already, got to subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you know all the cool stuff when it comes in. And uh, check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional. It's a good time. Thank you guys that have listened so far. We've got big plans in the future, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, but like I said, I got the catch guitar in today. Now we mentioned this before. I went to the NAMM show. Taylor does a off-site event every year where um, it was previously at, I believe, a restaurant and bar called Catch. It is not there anymore, but it is uh, keeping the same sort of vibe. This was at a hotel down the street. Beautiful setup with paella. I had some incredible bourbon. It was they they treated us well, but they had. I want to say maybe 30 or 40 custom guitars, one-offs, all set up through the place, and you could browse around and look at these one-of-a-kind instruments. Then you put your business card in front of it. There's a drawing. If you don't get that one, you can uh, have one built for you. They do very limited runs. So I believe this one they only did 20. Some of them they did 10. Some they did 5. And uh, I have a lot of videos. I got some photos. I can uh, maybe check out our social media when this drops. I'll put some of my favorite stuff on there. Um, and I've seen some stores that were there, you know, Chicago was there, um, and I saw the beautiful T5 that they got in. Um, that guitar was the showstopper, everybody was looking at that, and while the whole crowd is around this crazy, um, you know, glittery T5Z, I'm off in the corner with this guy, and I'll tell you why I picked it. I had a coworker of ours, uh, Joseph, he's the VP over here, it's his first time at the Catch event as well, and we both got super drawn to this guitar. Um, and it might look pretty similar to another old school classic slope shoulder dreadnought that uh, we love a lot on this channel, J45. We did a video with the J45 recently and I mentioned maybe we'll have something to show off that is Taylor's interpretation. There's obviously no documentation that they were like, we're gonna make a J45. This is a Grand Pacific through and through Taylor's uh, 17 or, you know, suffix 7 uh, body style, round shoulder dreadnought, relatively new. Uh, but it definitely follows in the footsteps of the classic round shoulder dreadnoughts that we know and love with the tobacco sunburst on the top. Definitely paying a little bit of tribute to that. That is what drew me to this guitar. I've always kind of pondered, you know, what would Taylor's interpretation of some other manufacturers classics be I think this is probably as close as we're gonna get to that J45 and so we had to get it I'm very excited about this guitar this is an Adirondack spruce top very cool something you don't see super often from Taylor if you do it might be on our 814 CE AMC exclusive a lot of you have dug that guitar in the past but you got Adirondack spruce top with the tobacco sunburst Back and sides also with a very pretty sunburst. This is not mahogany as the J45 would be. This is urban ash. Now, it is a good example of this tone wood outside of what they've done with it already. Um, everybody likes that 324 Builders Edition. Everybody likes the GT urban ash, but a lot of times on that, it's stained in a certain way that kind of might, you know, somebody could pass by and think it is mahogany. This is decidedly not a mahogany look on the back and sides. Um, you get that light wood, the natural color being revealed in that tobacco sunburst. So urban ash back and sides, um, that's their kind of urban sourced wood. They do a ton of sustainability. It's been a big success. They're doing a little bit more to build out that side, so stay tuned. Um, but you got maple, flame maple binding that is kind of revealed there. It might look from afar like it is maybe ivory or antique white binding. It is true flame maple, very pretty. Um, got the tiger stripe sort of, you know, faux tortoise pit guard, maple around the rosette as well. Now, the inlay on this guitar, they call it the Art Deco inlay, which is very cool. It's uh, pretty much that whole event was packed with different custom inlay patterns. This is hard rock maple, 
And if you can see up close, you'll see in the photos, um, the dot in the middle is Coca Bolo, which is very cool look. Um, and obviously, 1.75 inch nut width, got the ebony on the fretboard and the bridge, and Goto 510s as any great tailor would have. Um, so it's got all the ingredients of being a beautiful Taylor guitar. Another cool thing that was sort of exclusive to the catch event, um, every single one of the guitars had a very unique set of bridge pins. These are some of the more understated ones, and if you've heard me talk at all about custom guitars, you know that's my style, that's what I like. I like understated, but the best that there is to offer in the construction. Um, bridge pins. All of these were hand-turned, very, very cool, unique sets on each guitar. These are bone that have a dark stain, but these are handmade bridge pins. Um, and I mean, they had some sets out for us to see. They were amazing. Some had turquoise and you know all kinds of interesting dots. These are very, very simple, but they are special. Hand-turned bone bridge pins. And uh, some about, you know, it was tough because there were so many people at this event. You could pick up a guitar and kind of try to hold your ear up to it and hear it, but really you're buying based off of what you come to expect the sound will be. Um, it was not the best, you know, isolation room, play by yourself for an hour before you make a decision. It was, you know what it's going to sound like more or less. Do you dig the aesthetic? I love the aesthetic, so that was enough for me to be like, we need this for the store and somebody out there is going to love it. But playing it today, it all the dreams came true. It's a fantastic sounding guitar. I'm going to play a little bit for you on this thing, just a little finger picking and some strumming and all that. Get the kind of vibe, get the get the deal with this. You know, if you're interested in maybe comparing it to something similar, we did put out that video recently where we did J45 versus a 517. Now, this is not a 517. This is a custom, you know, whole different ballpark. But you can kind of see what that J45 sounds like, what the aesthetic and the vibe might be based on. Um, I'm going to play this one for you right now. I hope you dig it. Check it out. <laughs> There you have it, a little bit on the Catch Custom Grand Pacific, um, the very cool, maybe inspired by the classics, but whole new kind of interesting sound from Taylor. I love the Art Deco on the fretboard. I like that this guitar is very pretty, very meticulously done. I mean, the binding is beautiful, really nice maple on there, bridge pins are cool, but the sound is really what you're looking for when you look for a guitar like this. It's a big body, you want something that's going to boom and have a lot of that low end and I think the Urban Ash works really well in this setting. 
Uh, V-class bracing with the Adirondack top, that's something that, again, you don't get too often. And the Adirondack top is going to give you that, you know, punch, that springiness. It's a little bit harder than spruce. It's, you got to dig in, but you get all the payoff. And it does with that V-class that responds to a nice light touch. So I think kind of hearing a little bit of soft finger picking and then really digging in. Um, huge dynamic range on this guitar. And I think, uh, I mean, just looking at it from the side now, it's hard to tell, but you do get some nice kind of flame and figuring in that Urban Ash. It's just a special guitar. I think that, you know, for a Taylor fan, this seems like kind of a no-brainer. It's something that you don't see very often. But this guitar is also kind of interesting because it could potentially turn somebody that's like, oh, Taylor's not my sound. It's a lot of that chimey, bright, and, you know, punchy sound. It doesn't have a ton of the low end. It's often a big thing that we hear. Somebody wants a Gibson because they want that lo-fi, deep, almost kind of gritty tone. This takes all of that, that uh, low end, mid-range kind of punch, but adds in that through the Taylor lens kind of bright and, uh, you know, clarity. I think it's a home run. I'm really glad that we picked this one. Um, you know, that's the thing. If you are interested in a custom Taylor guitar, this is a great jumping off point. If you want something like this, we can help you build it. If you want something exactly like this, we can send this one to you. You can find all the specs on our website. But, um, you know, it's cool to see in that catch event everything that they can do. There was like a sinker redwood top, almost builder's edition looking guitar that had been painted over with black. And it's like, what the heck, what's going on here? But it's just for the builders and the designers. And I think certain reps got in on it. I know JR, our closest friend over here from Taylor, um, he had, you know, they all sort of throw ideas out there and it's definitely a community-based kind of showcase of everything that Taylor can do. Um, this is the one for me that really struck the chord, but what I like to do maybe next year when we're back at NAM, you know, take some photos, get a live stream going so everybody can see what's going on. I saw some other people doing that. I want to make sure it's all good with the guys from Taylor. But if you're interested in that, if you want to see other catch kind of options, maybe next year when the event comes around, you know, it's, it's one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do working for Alamo Music. So very glad that we came home with this one. Finally got here last week. It's been months and months that we're waiting for it. But the catch event is really just an inspiration kind of machine for what Taylor can do and what you can get with a custom guitar. Um, would really like to help people out, show them what can be done, build the guitar of your dreams. That's kind of everything that we're here for. But like I said, if this is the one for you, um, we've only got one. There's only, I think, 20 out there in the wild. So let us know. This is the perfect time to make sure your notifications are on so you know when we get the one-of-a-kind stuff, get your hands on it. Um, catch event, Grand Pacific custom guitar. Is it a Taylor J45? Is it the GP45? Who's to say, is it better than a J45? If you're the type of player that needs some clarity and wants note separation and all that extra boom attached to it, probably so. Like I said, it's on the website. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you next time.